What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your HD60 Elgato for a dual PC setup. I hope this video helps you. If you enjoy the video, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe. Plan to drop a lot more content to help you guys um, in the future. So first things first, there's a couple ways that I do set up, that you can set up your, your dual PC setup. One of the ways being with OBS and one of the other methods I found to help or be useful would be through your AMD software for your GPU. Um, if you have an NVIDIA, it may, you may be able to copy what I'm doing for AMD. I just wouldn't know how because I don't have an NVIDIA graphics card. I only know how to do this with AMD, but I'm sure there might be a way that you guys can figure out the same way to kind of do what, I'm, what I'll show you here today. So first things first, I want to show you how to set up your HD 60s or S plus, um, hardware wise at least. So there's going to be a HDMI in port, an HDMI out port, a USB C port. You're not going to mind this HDMI port um, that's going out. You don't need that. The only two you will need are these ones going in. So the HDMI going into the Elgato, you're going to want to plug the other end into your gaming PC. And then as far as your USB-C your USB -C port, you want to go ahead and plug that into your Elgato. And then the other end going into your streaming PC. And that's all you need to do hardware wise. Now for audio, you're going to need to download the game capture software. Um, game capture software. So you're going to want to go to Elgato.com, go to Downloads in the top right. Once you get to Downloads, you're going to go ahead and go to Show All. Scroll all the way down and go ahead and download Game Capture. Now, Game Capture is not what we need itself, but it's going to give you the option to download Sound Capture. Make sure you do that for your gaming PC so that way we can transfer the audio over. Once you have downloaded the sound capture, it should look something like this. If you didn't get it in the first time, just go back and re-download it and make sure you go ahead and add it on the second time. I believe you do have to add it on so or check the box to make sure it gets downloaded with it. Um, after that, for audio, it's going to be real simple. All we're going to do is go to sound capture. And it's going to say, where do you, you're going to, this might be off or somewhere else in advance. Go ahead and click PC gaming. So where do you want to hear your PC gameplay? Go ahead and put it to your headset. So either here or right here. I'm just going to keep it at automatic because why not? And then which output is your Elgato game capture device connected to? You're going to want to hit HD60S or the plus or whatever one you got. Um, make sure you do that one, and that's all you need to do for this software. And you can exit out of it. You're going to want to go to settings for your sounds. Let's see here, settings for your sound, and you're going to want to go to sound control panel. Now, once you're there, you're going to want to hit recording. And once you're in recording, you're going to want to go to your headset microphone or whatever mic you're using. Go ahead and right click. Go to properties. Don't need to do anything here. Go to listen. Now make sure listen to this device is checked. And then play back through this device. Make sure it's on that same one as the output for sound capture. HD60S. Once you do that, hit apply. OK. And that should transfer your audio over to the Elgato to your streaming PC. Now, to transfer what's showing on your gaming PC's monitor over to your streaming PC, you're going to want to download OBS Studio. OBS Studio or Streamlabs, whichever one you use, they're pretty much the same thing. Now, I already have it open for the video that I'm doing right now. I have it open already, so don't mind this. Yours is going to look a lot more fresh and a lot more new. But once you open it up after downloading it, it's not going to have this. It's going to be nothing. It's not going to be showing this. So what you're going to want to do is hit add source. 
and right here you're going to hit display capture or you could do game capture whichever one you prefer now display capture is going to show everything like mine is right now if you use game capture it's only going to show the application that you're using at the moment so i use display capture hit ok all this should be display one automatic hit ok and now to transfer it over to your elgato to your streaming pc you're going to right click full screen projector and hit HD 60s and that is going to transfer it over to your streaming PC now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all this let's see here remove I'm gonna keep this up so you guys can still see what I'm doing and for this method to work you're going to want to make sure that you are on extend these displays um, and make sure your main display is number one and you should just it should just project over and you should be okay now the other method that's going to be for amd instead of extending these displays let's see here you're going to want to hit show only one Okay, this is for the AMD users. You're going to want to hit show only one and make sure you do that because if not, your hertz may only your hertz may get capped for your monitor at 60 because of the Elgato rather than letting you get your full hertz display. Um, so make sure you hit show only one. And then once you hit show only one, it should just show your regular gaming uh, gaming PC's desktop. Go ahead and exit out of there. After hitting that, right click and go to your AMD software for the Radeon or Adrenaline. Now it should only say display one because you're showing only one. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go to the right and hit enable clone. Now when you do that, it's going to transfer it over without needing OBS and you don't lose anything as far as Hertz for your monitor. So you're still gaming on my, P like mine is a 360 Hertz, you know, whatever yours would be 144, 160, whatever the case may be, yours will stay the same. Um, and then in your settings, I'm sorry, in your display settings, it will actually turn into duplicate. Keep these changes, right? And I'll show you how this works without needing OBS because it was open for me to project it over to you guys so you guys can see when I was extending the displays. But since um, we duplicated it and cloned it, we no longer need this. I can go ahead and remove this. And still be showing you guys my screen, still capturing audio, um, so you wouldn't need OBS for that. Um, now, all you need, as far as the streaming PC goes, is either OBS Studio or Streamlabs. So, once you download either or onto your streaming PC, you're going to open it up, and this is going to be so that way you can capture. So that way the Elgato, your show, this is basically so your streaming PC shows the Elgato what it's capturing or the HD60. Same thing. Um, so you're going to go ahead and add source and go to video capture device on your streaming PC. And now once you hit that, hit OK. It'll give you the option on device. Um, just hit your HD60 or Elgato. They should display the same thing. Click that, keep everything else the same, capture audio only, hit OK, and it should be showing on your streaming PC what's on your gaming PC at this point. Okay, and you need to do that regardless if you cloned it like I did for the AMD or if you're using OBS um, because you're using OBS because you have to. You're going to want to do this regardless on your streaming PC. 
and that should have everything working as far as that goes now a couple problems you guys might run into is screen tearing um, I ran into that problem and a couple things you can do to help with that is you're gonna want to go to your settings go to your video and do this on the gaming and the streaming PC make sure that your base and your output are the same that's on your gaming PC that are this make sure they're the same on the streaming PC and then um, if that doesn't help with some of the tearing maybe change some of these lower higher um, and see if that helps the problem but just make sure that they're they're the same one other problem you might run into for anybody who's either purchased a new PC or has downloaded Windows 11 is with Windows 11 software you run into a screen tear that you can't get rid of and I tried a million solutions thinking that it wasn't Windows 11 before having to downgrade to Windows 10 to fix the issue so if you've tried you know every video resolution in OBS and Streamlabs to try to fix your tearing and it still has a blatant line like this in your stream you're going to want to downgrade to Windows 10. And I should I probably press pause on one of these one of these uh, moments so you guys can see the tear, but it's pretty bad. Let's see here. We'll get it right. You I'm sure you guys can see it in the video. Um every time I pull my shoot, you see it. It's a blatant line. Anytime I do fast movement, it would do it. Um, now this is how it looks after I went ahead and got rid of Windows 11 and went down to Windows 10 this is how it looks now stream is nice and crispy no no screen tears I'm sure your stream may screen tear but nothing you can nothing noticeable to some of your viewers and stuff like that um, yeah let's see here I think other than that, you guys should be good. I hope that helped with your dual PC setup. I'm sure um, you know there's a lot of methods on how you can set it up. This is what worked for me. I hope it works for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be doing a giveaway soon, so make sure you stay tuned. We do appreciate everybody for stopping by. Um, if you're interested in Warzone or live streams, my Twitch will be down in the link. There will be a link down below. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Go be great. Peace.